In this video, we're going to create a game user interface for displaying the number of life and coin collected by our player. The system of life will have a system of uh, art similar to game like Zelda. It's fairly easy to implement, so let's get started. So right now we're going to create the GUI. So for that, we need to create a new node. So I'm going to go here to level one and I'm going to click on the plus and I'm going to look for a Canva layer. Canva layer is a node in Godot that uh, create an overlay on your actual scene. And uh, once you have that node, you can see, for example, uh, here, maybe you can't see fully, but like there's a sort of like purplish rectangle here. This is where our Canva layer is. And when we're going to launch our game, it's going to act as an overlay on the actual level that we have. So that's perfect for creating uh, a game user interface. So here I'm going to rename it GUI. And so now what I'm going to do with the GUI is like I'm going to attach two sprite 2D to it. So sprite 2D, uh, this one's going to be player underscore life. And uh, I'm going to re-click on GUI plus and I'm going to recreate a sprite 2D. And this one going to be coin uh, number, but it's going to be coin uh, sprite something like this uh, and so now I can uh, come here I can go to my first player life and I'm going to go to my sprite folder and here I have uh, on my UI folder I have my art sprite sheet right there so I'm going to drag it here now I have like my the sprite of my uh, of my uh, heart that is uh, that is showing so I have one two three four five so I'm going to go to animation and on H frame I'm going to put five and I'm just going to move it and I'm going to put it I think around here and I'm going to also change the transform so I'm going to go to transform and I'm going to put it at two for example and two here something like this and I'm just going to put it around here and so now what I want to do is just I want to launch the game to see how it display so we have an art here so that's all right the size is uh, is quite good so that's perfect I'm going to do the same for the coin now so I'm going to go to my coin and I'm going to go to my interactable and I'm going to use the exact same uh, coin sprite sheet that we have used for the coin I'm just going to drag it here and I have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 so here I'm going to go to animation and I'm going to put 12 so now I have my coin here I'm going to move it uh, just also, uh, no, I haven't precised that, but like I also have to toggle on the, 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 the snap uh, and the grid, uh, the grid snap. So that's why also like it helps me to like adjust things quite nicely. So here my coin sprite, I'm going to go to transform and I'm going to also uh, change that. I'm going to change it so like this, it um, is just update automatically. And so now let's see. Yeah, that's quite all right. I think I can I can leave it like this. And what I need to do now is just I'm gonna also on my GUI I'm gonna create my label. Alors label I'm gonna go here create label. This one gonna be for my uh, coin. It's gonna be coin underscore number. So I'm gonna put it like this. And I'm gonna use that to uh, basically show the amount of coin that I have. So. Uh, with my coin number selected, I'm going to go here to the move mode and I'm going to move it around here. And I just want to put a number here. So for example, I'm going to put zero and I'm going to see. Okay, the, I can I can resize that a bit because it's way too, uh, too little. So I'm going to go to team override. I'm going to go to font size and here I'm going to put something like 16 or even more like 32 maybe. Something like this. Voila, this seems to be already a little bit better. So let's have a look. Yeah, that's already showing a little bit better. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the zero for now. So now that we have created that, we can uh, create the script that's going to uh, handle the logic of our GUI. So for that, I click on my GUI icon. I click on my script icon right here. I'm going to put that into my script folder. And here I'm going to um, create a new folder that I'm going to call UI. Like this. And I'm going to save my GUI in it. Voilà. So now I need to have uh, a first thing, which is I need to get the amount of text that I am uh, collecting. So for that, I can go to my uh, my process function here and I can get an access to my coin number right there. So for that, I just need to tap dollar sign coin uh, number. Oui, that's this one. And then here I can do dot text. Here, what I'm doing is like I'm going to coin number and I'm going here to text, which is the function that is like uh, the the um, 
segment of our uh, label that is handling the displaying of the text basically that's what it is and here what i need to do is i need to globally get the uh, the amount of coin that i'm uh, collecting and this is on my player data and because my player data is a static uh, a static script it has an access to my coin and so basically here on my gui i can just come here and i can say equal and i can get that um, uh, I, what to say, I can get directly uh, the amount of coin I'm collecting through my player data. The only problem here that I need to do is like my player data here is an integer and here we are uh, displaying our coin number as a string. So we need to make a conversion. And so for that, we just need to, before to call our player data dot coin, we just need to convert our player data to a string. So for that, we need to do var underscore to underscore str, so var to string. And here I can just can, uh, I can just type my player data dot coin and like this i will have the amount of coin that i'm collecting so now if i uh, launch back my game normally my uh, coin here gonna be at zero so i'm gonna come here and you can see it shows zero and if i'm collecting my coin here it's gonna be one and then two so let's see one and then two so we have the basic for uh, collecting the coin so that's perfect so now what we need to do is we need also to display the number of life. For displaying the number of life, we need to go back into our player data and we need to create a variable for that. So here I'm gonna, uh, that variable is gonna be static and it's gonna be life. And I'm gonna set it to be equal to four per default. So now that I have that variable here that exists, this is the number of, of life for my player, I can get it through my GUI. But here I need to make a bit more uh, a bit more setup. So the first thing I need to do is I need to uh, create a constant that's gonna uh, be in charge of uh, displaying, of, of separating the uh, the sprite that I, have, that I have here. Because here I have one sprite and what I want is I want to have one art per life. So for that, I need to create or remove art depending on the number of uh, life that I'm having. So for that, I need to here create a constant that can be in charge of that. So here, the first thing that I want to do is I want to create that constant. It's gonna, I'm going to call it art row underscore size like this, and I'm going to set it to be equal at eight. This means that I will not be able to have more than eight art on one line. So like this, I'm making sure that I can control the display. Then after that, I need to create another constant that I'm gonna call art underscore offset, and here I'm gonna set it to be equal to 16. Here, this is the number of pixels that I'm gonna separate uh, my number of art. And so now that I have that, what I can do is that I can actually create a function that's gonna handle that. So here I can create a function and I'm gonna be in charge of like uh, of uh, controlling that. So I can call it display underscore heart. And here what I can do is I can uh, create a loop. And so in that loop, what I want to do is I want to uh, get uh, a reference to my, uh, to my art. So here I need to come here and I need to say four art in dollar sign uh, is what player life. Uh, actually, I'm going to rename it. I'm going to rename it art. Actually, it's going to be way simpler. So yeah, I'm going to rename it art. So now I can do dollar sign art dot get underscore children. So here, basically, it's going to get all the children that the art uh, can potentially have if we are like, uh, uh, how to say, uh, adding uh, art or if we are removing them. Here, basically, we're going to create a variable inside. I'm going to call it index because that's what it is. It's just an index. We're going to say art dot get underscore index. So this is going to be getting the index of all the children that we have uh, attached to our art. And then here we need to uh, control the placement. So here we need to do like, for example, var x. We're going to set it to be equal to our index with a modulo sign and art row size. And then we're going to divide, uh, we're going to multiply it by the art offset. Art offset like this. And then we're going to also create our y. And here we're going to also do basically the same thing, index, but this time we're going to divide our art row size. And here we're going to multiply it by the art offset. So like this, we're making sure that we are displaying our art uh, in a nice way. Oop, I've made a typo. Voila. Art offset. Offset. Voila. Now that we have that, we can give our art the position and we can pass a vector to. 
with the two uh, the two uh, variables that we have created x and y so like this we're making sure that we are displaying the things right so now we need to get the logic for our uh, for our art so here we can create another variable i'm going to close the output tab uh, here the variable i'm going to call it last underscore art and here I'm going to set it to be equal to flow, which is the, the function that we have already seen uh, before. It's going to be player data dot uh, life. And here we're going to get a reference to our index. We're going to say if the index is greater than last art, greater than last art, like this. Then what we want to do is like we want our art dot uh, frame to be equal to zero which is basically like on, in our texture here we have like a, a frame and so uh, that's what we are getting here we are getting the index of that frame uh, here you can see for example zero if i go back here like i'm on art zero one two three four five you see up uh, voila Enfin, one two three four five <laughs> that's basically it so here we want to get that uh, if it's not the case, then what we want to do is here we want to get the index to be equal to last art. And then here we want our art frame to be equal to player data dot life minus last art uh, and multiply by four like this. And if it's not the case, we want our index to be uh, smaller than last art and then here our art dot frame is equal to four and with that done we have the basic for displaying our art but we need to also uh, give some rule when we are starting the game so here what i can do is like i can create a for loop and i can say for i in player underscore data dot life here, what I can do is I can create a new variable. This is going to be in charge of creating, uh, per default, the number of art that we need at the beginning. And so the variable, I'm going to call it new art, and I'm going to set it to be equal to sprite2d.new. And in the sprite2d.new, what I want to do is I just want to copy uh, the art texture and the frame, and then I want to add it as a child. So here, I just need, need to do new art dot texture. I need to set it equal to my actual art texture because here if i go to my art i have here texture and i have my sprite sheet that is in it and so i just need to copy that so i just need to do dollar sign art dot texture and then here i need to do new underscore art dot h frame so like this i'm getting the uh, setup that i've put in my h frame which is at five here so it uh, helps me to uh, to display only one art so here i need to also copy that i need to do uh, the dollar sign art <laughs> dot h frame like this and then i need to just get my uh my art and then here i can add as a child my new uh my new variable new art that i've created right here and with all that done the only thing that i need to do is like, i need to take my display uh, art here i need to copy it and i need to put it into my process and so with that done normally if i haven't made any typo this should display uh, four uh, art when we're gonna uh, start the game and it's gonna be a four uh, red art so let's see voila i have my four red art for now i don't have any way to uh, lose uh, lose um, uh, life so i can't fully test it so what i can do is like i can just go to my coin and i can also like uh, come here and i can just put player data dot life minus equal one let's have a look so normally now if i'm collecting a coin you're going to remove a life so like this i'm going to be able to test if it works so i come here and you can see that i'm losing a life and if i come here i'm losing a life perfect so now i'm just going to delete that thing here and we're going to create in the next video we're going to create uh we're going to start to create damage that's going to be uh removing art from our uh, of our player and we're going to start to continue to build the mechanic like this little by little so i will see you in the next video so that's it for me i hope this video has been helpful for you if it's the case don't hesitate to give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel me i want to thank you for watching and i will see you next time bye